and the future of two monuments in a Madison cemetery is the main topic of conversation today as city leaders talk about whether to remove, change, or keep monuments that recognize the Confederacy. Dave Caulfield joins us live this morning with the details. Good morning, Dave. Good morning, Danica. The city opened the section Confederate Rest in Forest Hill Cemetery in 1857, but the particular plaque and monument in question weren't installed until nearly 75 years later. In August of 2017, Mayor Soglin ordered the removal of one plaque after the monuments were vandalized, spray painted with the words, Good Night White Pride. He ordered for both of the monuments to be removed, but cemetery staff didn't have the equipment to move the larger monument immediately. Officials decided to develop a complete plan before tearing it down. Now, controversy over Confederate monuments spiked last August after heated protests over a statue of Robert E. Lee in Charlottesville, Virginia, where one person was killed. Now, early in the Civil War, over 1,000 captured Confederate soldiers were moved to Camp Randall, but prisoners were quickly moved after that to Camp Douglas near Chicago. About 150 Confederate soldiers died while at Camp Randall and were eventually given their own headstones in Confederates' rest. Certainly some interesting things, and I'm sure an interesting debate to be happening tonight. Dave Caulfield reporting this morning. Thank you so much, Dave.